Being in the UK, I find it difficult sometimes to find some of the vintage items that I'm after. So, over a period of time, I buy stuff that I find in the US and get them shipped to my friend, and then she ships over everything in a box. Hello, it's Dave at VTR. Welcome back to the post room. Uh, let's open the box and find out what's in there. One of the reasons I look to the US is for those pesky accessories. Here we've got a Sectors gun for the Waspax figure. I'm just reuniting them now. It's a collector's delight when you finish a figure and he's looking good. And here we have another accessory. It's another Sectors gun, this time for Skeeto. I love these Sectors figures, they're from Coleco. They're the predecessor to the Rambo line. And talking of Rambo, I've got an amazing rare figure coming up later. You didn't think I was gonna get a box from the US without some G.I. Joe. First up, it's Mainframe and some of his accessories as well. I am a computer programmer by trade, so if I was to be a G.I. Joe character, it would be this one, and he looks great. Next up, it's Spirit. What a great character this is. I've got the accessories as well. I will say that the top on this figure is faded and the clip on the eagle is broken. Even so, he looks fantastic, and maybe I'll upgrade him one day. Who's in this bag? Oh yeah, it's Muskrat. I had to get this dude purely because of his surfboard. He's gonna look fantastic in the display amongst all the other swamp lovers. And now we've got a few more pesky accessories. This time for Norgahide. I've never known a figure to have so many of them. I'm one step closer to completing though. And now we have the backpack for Flash, one of the original Geo Joe figures. It's great to reunite the backpack with Flash. And that laser gun now has somewhere to go. So awesome, this one. Stepping away from the Joes, this one's slightly larger. It's a Centurion figure, and it's a gift for Luke at Reynolds Reviews. I'm sending him a box anyway, so this surprise is going straight in there. Another reason for looking to the US is to find those figures that you just never see in the UK. And here's a classic example. It's a Remco 1981 Universal Monster. It's the creature from the Black Lagoon. Look at the detail on that one. It looks awesome. And we also have the mummy as well. These are 3.75 in the style of Star Wars 5 POA. Again, really fine detail. And with these two figures, I actually complete the range. There's six of them in total. And look at that all together. I'm really tempted to just mix these up with the Star Wars display. I promised you Rambo. But I wasn't actually looking for this one. It's a Rambo miniature, distributed by Glasslight or Glassleet in Brazil. And this one is of Colonel Troutman. I think he's a great character in the films. And there's a few of these, so I may look for some more in the future. But this is the main event. This is what I was looking for. It's a Series 2 General Warhawk, the whip action version, on card. I've been looking for this for so long, it's not that easy to find. You can see some of the other Series 2 figures on the back there. Let's take a closer look. Ah, oh, this is actually also from Glasslight, distributed in Brazil. I'm going to take it out of the box. You might be surprised, but you'll see the condition of the card isn't the greatest. And that's why I got it, because it was cheaper. There's the damage on the front. There's the Glasslight label. Ah, oh, that figure is going to be mint inside. You can see the Hawk there as well, the whip. You can see the uh, colours there on the figure. This is so much better than the Series 1 General Warhawk. The card's a bit creased as well. Oh, I'm so glad I've just got this figure. And here's the Series 1 Warhawk, all in blue, double denim. This is actually my least favourite figure from that series. I think they've done a great job on this whip action version. And I'll be featuring him a lot more in future videos. And there you have it, my latest pickups direct from the US. And as you can see, it allows me to find those pesky accessories and also find those items that you just don't see here in the UK. And I'm really happy with the things that I've managed to tick off my wish list. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay safe, everyone, and cheers. Thanks for making it this far. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe or try some of these other VTR classics. Until next time, stay safe and cheers.